Hello everybody, this is Robert Hollis. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. And today's title is The History Behind the Science of Getting Rich. I really wanted to get into people's minds exactly and hearts uh, exactly how important this book is. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll wait for Facebook and Meta to go out there and share with everyone. And uh, as soon as they start jumping on, we'll go ahead and get started. So there's Bill Shoemaker, how you doing? Thank you very much, Bill. Hi, Kai. Hi, Craig. Hi, Brene. Hey, Paul, how are you? Uh, thanks again, Craig. I appreciate you. Melody, I love you. Love you all. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> hey, Eric, how are you? Corky, uh, Scott McKinney, it's great to have you guys on here. Jennifer and um, uh, Craig, I'm going to be mentioning a bunch of books. Uh, uh, a bunch of books and um, um, don't post them on this one. <laughs> that, it's okay for that link for Science and Getting Rich, but I don't want people to get distracted. All right, so we're we're already in, so we'll go ahead and get started. Ah, here we go. Hello, everybody. This is Robert Hollis. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. And today's title is The History, The History Behind the Science of Getting Rich. So first of all, I did a, a, um, um, a, a, a title of a video, The Secret Behind the Secret. Uh, Craig, I'd love you to be able to post that here. And what I wanna do is each and every one of you, I wanna share with you exactly, exactly the history because a lot of people don't know. Now, what I love most about this documentation is you, you personally can go and read this stuff and see exactly what's going on, right? So you don't have to take my word for it. But first of all, um, the book, The Science of Getting Rich, was written in 1910 or published in 1910 by Wallace D. Waddles. And the people that give a lot of kudos behind this book is pretty amazing. My son last yesterday, me and him were going through, um, you know, AI, and uh, and I'll, I'll try to get these things as close as I can. But just listen really closely uh, to some of the people that are on here. Of course, we know Bob Proctor. Uh, Bob Proctor has built his whole career around uh, not only the science of getting rich, but one of the chapters in the science of getting rich is born to be rich, born to be rich. And so he wrote a whole book on that chapter <laughs> became massively successful of course we talked uh, J about jack canfield now jack canfield and some of these people are on the movie the secret i'll talk about that in a minute but jack canfield the last time i looked i, I wish i would have looked again is uh he has a guinness book of world record for writing the most books and they all started with the chicken soup, soup of the soul. So, you know, uh, chicken, chicken soup of the soul for, you know, golfers and chicken soup for the soul for bowlers. I mean, he just kept going on and on and on. Uh, of course, we talked about Rhonda Byrne. Uh, Rhonda Byrne, um, her net worth right now is over a hundred million dollars. So if you go to her website, The Secret, dot tv um she was one of the very first people to ever do pay-per-view on the internet can you imagine that and what's really really crazy about that is her daughter if you go to the website you can see about and Rhonda Byrne in a very bad time of her life um I, I believe her husband died. They had a company because he wasn't living. The company was done. And, and she just basically got given a book, The Science of Getting Rich, uh, from her daughter. And when she started reading it, just like when I first read it, it's sort of like, uh, you know, uh, just one of, the, one of my favorite books of all time. And the reason why is as I was reading it, it took all my excuses away. It took everything away. And so Rhonda Byrne was so inspired, so inspired by the book that what she did is she started reaching out and doing research all over the internet, which I'm doing with you right now. And what she did is she found out that these people out there were giving credit, credit and mentioning the book for being successful. Um, 
So what she did is she did the secret dot the secret uh, movie, which not only went crazy, but then it got her on Oprah, it got her on Ellen DeGeneres, it got her on Larry King, and then she wrote a book about it and just continued to write books over and over again. So if you read this at the Science of Getting Rich and you really, really get into it, you it's not that you read the book or retain the book, it's whether or not you study the book and master it and apply it. Because she did it and now she's only worth $100 million. I believe that she got on a cover of a magazine, I forget what it was, as being one of the most influential women. We're talking about a single mom. Uh, you know, it, it's just amazing when you hear about this stuff. So, of course, you see Oprah Winfrey on there. Uh, Oprah Winfrey uh, talking about the secret. Below there is Jim Carrey. You know, just a few people that that might think this book is okay. Of course, you know how many people each and every one of these people inspired. Now, if you just looked at it, I don't, I, Craig, you probably could do this. I never thought of this. But you can go to IMBD, I believe it is, and look at the cast. Look at the cast of um, uh, The Science of Getting Rich and The Secret and look what they've done with their careers. Oh my God. So it, wouldn't you think it would be interesting if it was one person and then another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. So um, uh, of course we got here, uh, Dennis Waitley. Dennis Waitley, you can see there, Bob Dole, uh, Joe Vitale, uh, Esther Hicks. I gotta stop on this one for a little bit. So. You know, to think that she went out there and, and and found Esther and Jerry Hicks. And they were on the first secret movie. But what ended up happening, I don't know the truth. So I never thought about that. That's why I'll stop right there. For whatever reason, a newer version of the secret came out and they edited her out of it. Now, what's really, really crazy about this is, of course, if you know anything about Esther and Jerry Hicks, and 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 go online any one of these people do you guys realize listen closely i went to audible and when i went into audible and put the science of getting rich there were pages and pages and pages and pages and pages of the audio why well because the book was written in 1910 so the publications or the patent or whatever you call that copyrights, they're no longer there. So effective of 2010, the rights then opened up. So do you realize people record, record a chapter of the book with their own physical mouth. They just grab the book, read it, and can turn it into an audio book and then publish it, um, I think through CreateSpace, uh, to have an audio book and you could promote your own book, audio book, and make money off of it. Now, how do I know this? When I first seen The Secret in 2006, when I first seen it, I, I, I'm I dyslexic, so immediately I wanted to see if anyone did any audios of it. I go on Google, I put in the Audible, the Science of Getting Rich, and at that time, at that time, remember that's 2006, 2010 is when all the copyrights are free. They're now what is called public domain. So this was 2006. And so couldn't find an audio book anywhere. So I put on there, I put um, science of getting rich audio and a website came up and my son checked it. It's no longer there, uh, but it was the science of getting rich dot net. N-E-T. And on there, you can get a PDF copy of the, of, of the book, but also she did the audio. She read it and did an audio. So she gave away the book for free, but she sold the audio book for $7. $7. And I sent her an email personally asking her one time what happened to her site. And she said, I've always wanted to move to Greece. I moved to Greece and, and you know, I, I'm, I'm just enjoying life. 
and I asked her, how much did you make? If you don't mind me asking, how much did you make off $7 for the audio? And she told me she earned over $2 million. So I was thinking, me and my son were talking yesterday. Uh, $2 million, let's divide that by seven. Um, that's $285,714. <laughs> and I should have looked for it. So $285,714 sales. <laughs> And so, again, it just keeps going on and on and on and on. So you heard my personal story, you know, that as soon as I read that book, kept watching The Secret over and over again, continued to devour that book and listen to the audios that I got from Rebecca Fine. I got a termination letter from the company that I was in. The next step, I decided to go do a training even though I wasn't with that company. Uh, then someone seen me post on Facebook, which was an old friend of mine that I trained that was starting a company. I jumped in with him and we took that company from zero uh, uh, to over $10 million in just a couple of years. I made 50,000 in my first 50 days. Um, that propelled me to go from there. And what we did is I told everybody, I told everybody, listen, you got to read Science of Getting Rich. You got to read chapters 4, 14, and 7 in that order. In that order. And do you guys realize and listen to this statement before I go on? Um, whether you believe this or not, how much of being happy, fulfilled, and success, how much of it do you think has to do with our thoughts? our belief, our faith. Because to me, sometimes I think it's like 99.9%. And here's, let me tell you why. I got to do a video all on this. Because when you have a reason to do something, you just start doing it. You just start going toward that direction without knowing, without knowing what to do. So when you don't have belief, you don't have faith, you mentally in your mind are confused. You're, you're, I don't know what to do, part of perfectionism. You know, when's the best time to contact people? What should I say? Uh, you know, what is the best time of day? I probably said that already. But all of the stuff that you say is nothing but excuses because you don't have a reason why. So when you have a reason why, you don't care about making mistakes. So it was really easy for me to reach out to people and say, hey, listen, you ever heard of the science of getting rich? Uh, no, I, I, I haven't. Did you know it was written in 1910? And when it was written in 1910, it, uh, a person read it named Andrew Carnegie. He became the wealthiest person on the planet. And what he did is commission Napoleon Hill and made sure that he had, you know, 500 of the best, most influential, wealthiest, uh, famous people on the planet. And Napoleon Hill gives credit to this book. So Napoleon Hill uh, basically wrote Think and Grow Rich by, by Napoleon Hill. But not only him, it was Andrew Carnegie. It was uh, Lloyd Conant. Uh, Jim Rowan, Zig Ziglar. You guys got to understand that when the student's ready, the teacher appears. I'll say that again. When the student's ready, the teacher appears. So to think that Bob Proctor put together a programs that I learned 35 years ago. So someone told me that I could send a letter <laughs> to Nightingale Conan Association in Chicago, exactly where Bob Proctor worked. Get this, you guys. And they sent me a catalog. And back then, you could order um, LPs. Ron uh, uh, Henley's on here. Um, 
he's got some of these LPs. People used to have LP players. So when you listen to Earl Nightingale, The Strangest Secret, everyone wants to know what is the secret? What is the certain way? And it's basically daydreaming all day long. It's constantly, the certain way is dreaming. Dreaming about what your life is going to experience, what you're going to do for you and your family, what are you going to do for your charity, and what you spend is you spend all of that time excited about what you are looking forward to. That's the thing that moves you forward. So to think that 27 years later, 27 years later, Think and Go Rich came out. And I just checked with AI and they've sold over a hundred million copies. A hundred million copies of Think and Grow Rich. So here's another person that that uh, basically I was gonna look here, and there's over been over 30 million copies, 30 million copies of the secret written by Rhonda Byrne. And get this, in 50 languages. So I wanted to do this video because um, I, Robert Hollis, am not aware of a book written by a person. Written by a person that has influenced more people and had a larger ripple effect than this book. Not aware of one. So I'm a personal development junkie. I'm obsessed with personal development. And whenever my life is not on the right path, I can go right back to this book, start going through it. And you guys seen, I, I, um, I've been posting a couple of, of chapters that that uh, uh, on my YouTube channel, and I'm just telling you guys, when when your heart is correct, when your heart is correct, and your soul, your soul is correct, it changes your thoughts. It changes your thinking, which causes that thinking of you moving forward to be what they call the law of attraction. All of a sudden, you show up different in conversations. You show up different on live. You, you show up different. So when you think about Jenna Zweigel, I didn't put her on this list. So Jenna Zweigel, you know, reaches out to Bob Proctor. Bob Proctor says, hey, here's the book. You know, here's the book. Read chapter 4, 14, and 7. And you guys have seen not only Bob Proctor on stage, but also Jenna Zweigel on stage, me on stage, talking about, talking about, hey, hey, this is it. This is the way. And so now, when the student's ready, the teacher appears. So now what I'm going to do tomorrow in my Ask Me Anything I'm going to teach people how I've used this book virtually my whole entire life as a way to give. A lot of people say that I, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what my calling is. I don't know what my passion is. Until you figure it out, let me tell you what it should be. It should be being the best person you can be. And when you listen to something that in gets you enthusiastic, in thesos means God within. Then you share that with other people. And I'm telling you guys, there's billions of people on the planet that have never heard of this book. Never heard of it. And I just gave you a list of all these people that have used this, including me, so now connecting with someone can be as simple as a, hey, listen, I haven't talked to you in a while. I hope everything's going great with you and your family. Um, great Friday, happy Passover, happy Easter. 
By the way, have you ever heard of the science of getting rich? It was written in 1910. Um, no, no. Well, here's a link. Here's a link that not only, you know, they suggest the read chapters 4, 14, and 7 in that order, but here's the link. Now, I know some of you don't have a YouTube channel, or, you know, maybe it would be faster to build like a Google Drive. I believe Google Drive is free. But you, you could either promote mine, or you could promote yours, or you could promote somebody else's. But when you lead, when you lead by sowing a seed, when you leave by get, you know, lead with the connection of giving a gift, it causes that law of giving, that law of reciprocity. And that's when you get to sort whether or not a person is open-minded to hearing about something else. Right? So... This is what allowed me to build a group of over 758,000 people in four years. And it also helped me go from nothing in March 6th of, 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 of 2018 to super affiliate. So with my daily choice. So I'm going to share this technique with you tomorrow on Ask Me Anything. And so um, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this history. Please do your due diligence. I know that some people while they were listening probably went, what about the Bible? What about this? What about this? Um, listen, I said a single person, a person on this planet. <laughs> I know parts of the Bible or parts of the Quran or parts of, you know, every other religion book out there, um, you know, I know we're not counting those. I'm just counting about the ripple effect that the science of getting rich has done. So for some of you, it, depending on your mind, it's going to put you in a better place or you're going to say, hey, this is not for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I love and appreciate you. Please do me a huge personal favor and share this. And um, I'm just going to tell you guys up front that I'm probably, uh, not probably, but I'm going to start doing a course called Mastering the Science of Getting Rich. I did it before, but now I'm, you know, more documented than I ever have been. And so I'm going to do that. And I'm, believe, it or, believe it or not, I'm going to start streaming live on my YouTube channel. So um, uh, I, again, share this with people. Do me a favor. Become a subscriber of the YouTube channel. Uh, that's roberthollis.com forward slash YouTube, uh, or just put Robert Hollis in, in YouTube. And um, if no one's giving you permission to succeed in life, be happy, be fulfilled. Uh, I know the path. I know the GPS to success. I, I, know the, the, um, I, I know the treasure map. I know the treasure map. Because I've helped other people do this. I've helped 66 people make over a million in commissions. So it's time for you. I'll show you how to do this. And get this, you can't skip this step. You cannot skip this step. So, you know, some of the people I didn't even mention, you know, like like Bill Gates and, and uh, Steve Jobs. And there's so many names that give credit to this book of opening up their psyche uh, to understand that... Uh, you were created to create. So let's get this message to everyone on the planet and let's make this place a better place. Love and appreciate you and see you on the next video.